Spike! Are you in here? Hello! Spike? Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are! I was starting to think you weren't here. I realize this is last minute, but I've decided on a quick trip to the gem cave. I am on an urgent mission to find some faceted iridescence for my new design. And I can't think of any pony I'd rather have along than my favorite basket holder slash bodyguard, Spike. 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 Spike! What? Oh, hey, Rarity. Honestly, Spike, it's almost as if you haven't been listening. Oh, uh, of course I was, but just to be sure, could you say it all again? I was saying that I had planned on visiting the gym cave. Oh, no! Is that the time? <sighs> of course you're right. This is a bit of a late start, and those gems won't pick themselves. Uh-huh. But the real question is, which basket do you want to hold? The smaller one, right? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, Rarity. Can I take a rain check on... What was that again? The... gem cave? Right. Sounds great. But I need to get to the post office before noon. <laughs> All right, very funny. Obviously, you get the bigger basket, and I should... Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I don't understand. For as long as we've known each other, Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. Ideally, you catch the gems, dear. And for a trip to the post office of all places. Maybe you should move closer. And why would Spike need to go to the post office at all? He sends mail by breathing. Breathing, darling. Breath mail. Honestly, Applejack, if you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt hold the basket the way Spike would. And how's that? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. And he usually pulls me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. Huh? Rarity, Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. And in case you hadn't noticed, I ain't Spike! Um, hi, Rarity. What's up? <gasps> Besides my mane? Well, that is a question for Spike. Oh, well, Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. Again? What is it with Spike in the post office? Rarity, what's going on? Spike declined my invitation to the gem cave, and I intend to find out why. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Spike. Did you two have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight, what in Equestria would we fight about? I've had arguments with friends before, and they can put a real strain on friendships. Well, certainly. But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't realize it? Do you think you could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings? What if I didn't realize what I did? How would I know what I have done when I did it? I wonder if that's it. It certainly would explain his behavior. I must apologize! For what? Oh, that's hardly the point. <gasps> Poor Spikey Wikey! This call for a grand gesture! Okay, good talk. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm.
Sending, therefore apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us a... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice. Uh, you stand there and tell me if I hit the right apologetic notes. What are you apologizing for? Darling, I don't see why that matters. And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter! Because I'm prepared to do anything to make it right! <gasps> and see. Oh, sorry, dear. I said that sure sounds genuine. Well, of course it sounds genuine. It is genuine! Rarity? What are you doing? Obviously, I'm working on my apology to you, Spike. I don't know how I could be more genuine. I mean, <gasps> Spike! Oh, Spike, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. You have to forgive me. I don't know what I did or why you are mad at me. Just please say you forgive me. Please. Of course I forgive you, but, uh, what are you apologizing for? Why does every pony keep hopping on that? Wait, don't you know? No, I'm not mad at you about anything. But, 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 I don't understand. If you're not upset with me, why in Equestria would you refuse to go to the gem cave? Uh, because I had other plans? With me! Understand? You two know each other? Gabby and I are sort of pen pals. Yeah! There was this whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because Griffins don't get cutie marks, so Princess Twilight had Spike send a bunch of letters off to Griffinstone about the first Griffin ever to get a cutie mark, which I really didn't have. Gabby wrote back explaining things, and after that we just started writing back and forth. Turns out we have a lot in common. We both come from cultures that don't have the friendliest of reputations. <sighs> And we're both in the message sending business. Uh -huh. mm. I sure wish I could send scrolls with my breath. Aha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. yes. Now I understand why you didn't come to the gem cave. Having a friend in town is a rare treat. Look, since you're busy today, maybe we can do something tomorrow. Fabric shopping? I know how you love to pick out the colors. Uh, actually, now that there's a griffin at Twilight School, Gabby's here all the time. Grandpa Grub asks for a lot of updates about how Gallus is doing. <sighs> Speaking of which, I better get going. And I'll fly with you. Well, all right, you two fly along. I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other... Decide which shade of purple is the most royal. And there's the pink! How will I ever choose? Too bad Spike's not here. I bet he could help you narrow it down. He is a good sounding board, isn't he?
you bring the pincushion a little closer, dear? I suppose now that Spike's always so busy with Gabby, I'm just now realizing how much his presence has meant to me over the years. Even closer, darling. I don't want to prick you. I have to admit, everything feels a bit less than without him. Too close! Oh, darling, it's no use. Thank you for trying. I'm just accustomed to the help of a small, highly attentive dragon. Maybe you should let Spike know how grateful you are for everything he's done for you. Oh, I am sorry, Spike. I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, Rarity, what are you doing here? Well, I realize it's late, or rather early, <laughs> but I have a surprise and I just couldn't wait to share it. The Great Gem Crevasse of the Crystal Mountains. Whoa. It is only accessible once a year, and I thought a little day trip would make a wonderful thank you for all the help you've given me over the years. Oh, but I'm supposed to meet Gabby today for her aunt. I see. Well, there's always next year. You know what? I'll just write her a note. Are you sure? Absolutely. Wow, Rarity, you weren't kidding. The gem crevasse was amazing. I'll be snacking on these for a week. What did I tell you? Hey, Spike. Gabby, you won't believe where I went today. Actually, I think I will. I got your scroll. The great gem crevasse sounds a lot better than doing my rounds. Mm-hmm. better. I gotta get back to Griffinstone, but you have to tell me all about the crevasse tomorrow. Absolutely. Ah. Thanks again, Rarity. What a great day. Okay, start from the beginning, because I want to hear everything. Well, to get to the crevasse, you have to climb across a rope bridge because the air's too thin to fly. That is amazing. Then what? Whoa! Uh, sorry, Rarity. Oh, no apology necessary, Spike. In fact, I was just looking for you. You were? Why? Because I just acquired these! Passes to Power Pony Palooza for today? Mm -hmm. I know we just went to the crevasse, but I feel I've barely scratched the surface of expressing my gratitude for all you do. Well, of course I want to go, but that'll be two days in a row we haven't hung out. Uh, are you kidding? It's Power Pony Palooza. You have to go. And now you'll have two things to tell me about. Okay. Come on, Rarity. Let's go. Whew. My claws sore. Indeed. I had no idea how much walking there is at a Power Pony convention. <sighs> Oh. Uh, I know I told Gabby we'd hang out tomorrow, but I might need the whole day to rest. Ooh, I know what you mean. Perhaps you could uh, just send her another note. Uh. <laughs> I think maybe you're right. Honestly, I might need to spend tomorrow putting my hoot up as well. <laughs> counted on Power Pony Palooza being quite so draining, but I thought we might spend the day recuperating together. No way! Ogres and Oubliettes? Well, I know how much you enjoy it, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity for you to teach me the game. Spike! I got your note! I figured I'd come by before my rounds with a bowl of energizing turnip soup. Can 
Princess Schmarity use her shield of the coiffure to defend herself from the purveyor of poor color coordination? Oh, she can try. Success! Schmarity's shield holds against the green-eyed monster's attack. And that bike? Oh, hi, Gabby. We were just... Your scroll said you were too tired to do anything today. But I guess you were just too tired to do anything with me. No, 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 that's not true. I can come with you on your rounds right now. I don't think so, Spike. Maybe I'll just handle the rounds on my own from now on. Ooh! Princess Schmarity uses her prismatic beam to change that poor monster's color to a more blazing shade of purple! What do you think, Spike? Solids or prints? <sighs> prints, I guess. You already have a lot of solid colors. Oh, you're so right. Prince it is. So nice to have you back, Spike. Although, I hope you're able to reconcile with Gabby. I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to. Enjoyed our day together, Spike. Yeah. Hi, Spike. Uh huh. Hmm. I've never seen Spike this sad before. Do you know what happened? <clears throat> yes. Well, perhaps he's still just tired from Power Pony Palooza. I don't think that's it. Well, I suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <coughs> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were. Honestly, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me at all. But between Crystal Gem crevasses, Power Pony conventions, and a marathon game of O and O, I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <laughs> I certainly did not. Well, I suppose I may have monopolized him a teeny bit. <sighs> I've just grown so used to having Spiky Wiky around. I wasn't prepared for how much I'd miss him when he wasn't. Friendships change, but just because Spike made a new friend doesn't mean he stops being yours. I know, but now I have to share him. Which I suppose I'll have to get used to. <gasps> right after I fix this mess I've made. Good talk. Rarity? Is all this stuff for Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? And why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. And all of this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me! Evidence? For what? For my acts of utter selfishness! I don't understand. These are the items I used to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They are? You did? Rarity? What are you doing? Well, obviously I'm apologizing to Gabby so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive... <gasps> Spike! Oh, I actually owe you an apology, too. You apologize a lot. <sighs> I wish I didn't need to. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. You really miss spending time with me? Oh, of course. I have to say, after not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of awesome! And I know what it's like to miss that now, too. So, do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? Absolutely. I don't suppose you'd like some company on your rounds right now. I sure would! Wonderful! I can't tell you how pleased I am that the two of you have... <laughs> Reconciled.
suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Of course, Spike and I will always be friends. And I can get used to sharing him. Oh, that, I, I, oh, oh. Sorry, I just didn't want to drop another one and wake the bats. Darling, catching the gems is what the basket is for. Wow, you two need to be a lot quieter. Spike! How wonderful to see you! Yeah, Gabby and I had a great day. But I'll always still want my rarity time. So that's how it works. <laughs> 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 